Good evening. I'm your host, Josh. And tonight's episode, we take a look at every Alfred Hitchcock film and reviewing it. But first, a word from our lovely sponsors. Josh and Caleb. Josh here, <laughs> did a little Hitchcock intro there, pulled a little from uh, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, if you had n have never seen that show, definitely check it out, the last season is only available for Region 2, and then the new Alfred Hitchcock also, Region 2 or Region 4, anyway, <laughs> uh, just thought this would be a cool little video. I like how this light, I turned off the main lights and I'm just going off the lamp. That is, I like how that looks. We might do this moving forward because it, it highlights movies in the background and then I'm highlighted. I love this. <laughs> but uh, if you guys did not know, I'm a big Alfred Hitchcock fan. Uh, probably my favorite director of all time. I think Spielberg is the best overall because he, he does so many genres, but Alfred is the master of, of suspense. Uh, and I love murder mysteries, and he did quite a few of those, so... Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some, well, all of his movies. He did 52 or 55, I believe, somewhere in the 50s. I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm definitely missing a couple. I have 50, 52, I believe, right here in front of me. So we're going to be taking a look at that. Um... First off, I have the Ultimate Collection twice, so we'll take a look at the Blu-rays first, because they're in, in with the 15, and I do have this, the Ultimate Collection, on VHS, so at some point we'll take a look at those when I do, I want to do a whole, complete VHS collection, so... Maybe that'll be coming soon. Uh, but uh, this was one of the first Blu-ray sets I got when I started collecting Blu-rays. Uh, what year was this release? I have no idea. Maybe it says on the side. But uh has some great documentaries. It comes with Rear Window, Virgo, Psycho, The Birds, and North by Northwest some the central collection uh got the alfred hitchcock presents logo and then the front cover there uh really like this packaging and we'll start getting into the movies in a second here just wanted to show you this because all these are in that that collection but this is really cool and we will not be talking about the shows or movies based on him <laughs> like hitchcock or you know uh what was the, the girl the movie about tippy hendren uh we'll just focus on the movies he directed Nine remakes of his movies are sequels, Birds 2, <laughs> Psycho 2 through 4. Just focusing on the movies he himself directed. Alright, 
uh, where to begin? I think we will end with the Ultimate Collection, and then I will share my top ten. Uh, we'll start with the Turner Classics uh, Collection. Comes with su Suspicion, a good thriller. Uh, I believe this is the one where uh, he he's trying to take his wife out. <laughs> Poisoner, I believe this is the one suspicion, and when he's carrying up the glass of milk, it Hitch thought to put a light in there, so it's it stands out in the scene. Brilliant, low suspicion. Then of course, strangers on a train about two strangers who meet on a train, and they want to switch, you know, be each other's alibi. And take out <laughs> their significant other. Uh, then the wrong man about someone accused of murder. We had nothing to do. He wasn't even there. So he's got to clear his name. And then I confess about a Catholic priest who is told about a murder, I believe. And then the dilemma, does he tell the police or not? All great films. Uh, I will leave that out because one of those is in my top ten. Uh, then Notorious. Uh, this being the Criterion Collection release. Good film. Uh, I'll let you see the synopsis there. Uh, Ingrid Bergman, Cary Grant, Claude Rains. Uh, she uh, is recruited by Cary Grant uh, to go undercover as a spy for the U.S. Uh, she must seduce uh, industrialists hiding out in South America. So, and then get into and stuff, obviously. So... That that one I really enjoy, especially the Criterion release of that movie. Uh, then Spellbound, one where he did some practical effects. Uh, because uh, who is it? Uh, da, da, da. Ingrid Bergman is in this one too. Gregory Peck. Uh, it's a psychological thriller. Uh, she is a psych psychiatrist, and she's got to unravel this mystery. And in his dream sequences, that's when all the practical effects are. It's it's brilliant. <laughs> Some of the shots are just breathtaking. Uh, watch it, and you'll see. Glad I have this on Blu-ray. This was also, yeah, on Blu-ray. It's Region A. So, yeah, this is a great one. One where I just instantly, you know, this is one of the ones where I was like, wow, that guy can direct a movie. You know, not just the standard movies like Birds, Birds Psycho, Rear window, you know, the ones everybody thinks of. Spellbound was not even on the map until I looked up his filmography and started finding him, you know. Uh, then we have Stage Fright, which also stars his daughter, Patricia Hitchcock. Uh, does it say? Yeah, and daughter. Patricia Hitchcock. Very good movie. Uh, there's a synopsis for you. Uh, about a theater where danger stalks the wings. Characters are not what they seem. It's a, it's a murder mystery. So, obviously I love <laughs> murder mysteries. So great. Then Foreign Correspondent, also a Criterion release. This one's DVD, though. 
uh, about Spurs. Uh, one of his better films, this one's all in black and white, an uh, espionage thriller about a reporter sent to Europe to get the scoop on the imminent war. So, really good movie, especially the Criterion release. Uh, then one that's kind of near the bottom for me, just because it's a comedy. <laughs> Uh, when he didn't venture out of his uh, comfort zone very much, uh, but when he did, it was a comedy. You know, it's it's decent for a comedy of the air. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, Carol Lombard, Robert Montgomery, great cast, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, of course. And it comes with a great making of documentary, as you can see there. Uh, you know, just a, a com I believe it's a romantic comedy. I could be wrong. But it's a comedy, <laughs> nonetheless. Near the bottom, it's not awful. I still really enjoy it. It's pretty good. But when we're talking some of his best... That one and this one are probably near the bottom. This is a courtroom drama under Capricorn. Uh, it is a murder mystery, so it has that going for it. Let me just look at some of that. I mean, I'm glad I have it on DVD now. I did have this on VHS for the longest time, so I never watched it. Now I, w I pop in occasionally. Should have a, a marathon. So we'll do that sometime. Uh, then the premiere collection of Rebecca. Uh, da -da -da, what's her name? I forgot who's in it. Fontaine. Lawrence Olivia, Olivier and Joanne. Fontaine, that's who it is, yeah, uh, they get married, and his wife, who's deceased, haunts, uh, her, what's her name in the movie, Mrs. Wint, Maxim, uh, doesn't say her name, M Manderley, anyway, it's a, supernatural thriller basically uh the beautiful rebecca who she suspects still rules both manderley and maxim from beyond the grave so that's a good one that's near the top uh hope i'm keeping all these out <laughs> we'll get back to that uh then dial in for murder very much near the top for his work uh, about a guy who hires a hitman to take out his wife, Grace Kelly, but she defends herself, takes the hitman out, and then it's about becomes a mystery of who, who hired the hitman, who wanted to take her out, and I won't give away, but, you know, they figured it out at the end. Great movie. Love this one. For the longest time, I didn't even know Hitchcock directed that one. Then to Catch a Thief, all about a heist, uh, heist film, basically, uh, gym thefts and stuff. Uh, won an Oscar for Best Cinematography. So that's cool. Uh, Cary Grant, and of course, Grace Kelly, before she became a duchess. <laughs> this one is also very good. Then Lifeboat, a thriller about this boat that, uh, sinks, I believe, and they, they have to go on this lifeboat. It becomes, you know, everyone out for themselves and who's going to survive in the end. 
because they don't have food or wood or anything. They have very low rations, so... And how he did his little cameo is is great in this movie. You'll see. Well, I could... He does a, a newspaper that the guy's reading. So that that was brilliant. Then we have a 20, 20 film set. Some really great films. Some of his earlier works. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock pushed the limits of, of the suspense genre. Yep, he very much did. Uh, we have a couple of Alfred Hitchcock Presents episodes. Then we have Blackmail. Some of these are um, a little iffy on. I don't really remember them. Uh, Champagne, Easy Virtue, The Farmer's Wife, Jamaican Inn, I do remember that, Juno and the Paycheck, then The Lady Vanishes, The Lodger, about uh, Jack the Ripper. Those two are part of a Criterion collection, which I need to get. Uh, then The Man Who Knew Too Much, The Maxman, Number 17, that's a good one. Uh, Rich and Strange, The Ring, Sabotage, that's also a good one. Secret Agent, The Skin Game, and The 39 Steps, that is also a good one. Uh, yeah, that's near the top for me as well. Uh, what's the one? Yeah, okay. And then Young and Innocent. That's where it was. And then the bonus feature for this is all of his trailers. So that's really cool. There you go. So 20 films there. And then this beautiful, glorious collection. So cool. 15, probably, of his most well-known films. Uh, it is on DVD, unfortunately. It comes with this little booklet. Uh, but the Ultimate Collection. That's how it is there. Then you got Saboteur. That's a good one. I like that one. Uh, Shadow of a Doubt, uh, he, Hitch said this was his favorite one he ever directed. It is a thriller, and it's decent, but not, not one of my top ones. Then you have Rope, that is a great murder mystery, I love that. Jimmy Stewart is great in this one. Then you have Rear Window, also a great murder mystery. One of my favorites, I won't give away just yet. Trouble with Harry, a great uh, mystery. Uh, the Man Who Knew too, too Much, another good kind of spy thriller mystery. Vertigo, also a good mystery. <laughs> All good mysteries. Then you have North by Northwest, an action film. Then, of course, Psycho, possibly my favorite horror movie of all time, that or Halloween. Uh, I'd go back and forth between the two, but definitely top five horror. Birds, also up there as far as horror goes. Love creature features. Then Marnie, that's a good thriller. A uh, torn curtain about two spies. Yeah, famous scientist goes undercover. Topaz of uh, a CIA agent. Frenzy about a ser serial killer. And then family plot a jewel heist. Love that one. Then you got a few episodes of Alfred Hitchcock Presents and the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. 
which I have the complete series of on region four, I believe. All right, now we will take a look at my top 10. I'll just leave this out because there's some in there. My top 10 Hitchcock films. Uh, we will start with number 10 is Stage Fright. Great movie. Good murder mystery. Love that one. Number 9 is Lifeboat. Really good thriller. Uh, number 8 if I can find it here is Vertigo. Number 7 is To Catch a Thief. Great heist film. Number 6 <laughs> I'm all over the place. Number six is Strangers on a Train. Love that one. Especially some of the shots he uses, like the glasses reflecting uh, the killer, and then the merry-go-round scene. Love that, love that movie. This was one outside of, you know, his more famous ones. This and... Uh, Spellbound really got me into his filmography. After those, these two, I wanted to cl just collect them all because they were so brilliant. Uh, number five is Rope. <laughs> Good murder mystery. Jimmy Stewart underrated in his filmography. Then number four is it's in this collection number four is the birds love that one great creature feature love all the special effects they use they did actually use real birds in the attic and tippy hendren talked about that in some interview i saw for some documentary she said she got scratched over her face. Oh, and then when she's in the phone booth and the overhead shot. Oh, so, so good. Love that movie. Uh, then number three is Psycho. <laughs> Love this one. All-time favorite. One of my favorite horror movies, if not my favorite. Uh, then number two is Dial In For Murder. A great mystery about who hired the hitman. Love this one, especially the police detective who figures it all out and how he tells everybody how he figured it out at the end. Love that one. Uh, then my number one favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie, which you've probably guessed by now. I think I went too far. Yes, at the front. All the way at the front. Number one is Rear Window. Obviously. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time. And favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie. Just, you know... All this was practical. All the apartments were practical. It was all built on a big sound stage. In fact, they talk about in the special features, great special features in this whole collection. But uh, and it's also on here, right there. My hand is covering it. Also on Blu-ray, so I usually watch this copy when I watch one of these six. But for the rest, you know, gotta go DVD. But just, it's brilliant. The the uh, music that's natural, the natural environment music and how he builds suspense, you know, and how James Stewart figures it out. And everything is so great. Love this one. Outside Clue, I probably watch this the most of any movie <laughs> in my collection. 
So that is great. All right. So we reviewed all the Hitchcock movies I have. I am missing a few. God, God find those at some point. Some of his earlier ones. I uh, feel like I'm missing, leaving something out. Uh, we didn't get to the shows, obviously, and the, I will show the VHS when I do decide to do, do this, I said, anyway, when I decide to do my VHS collection. Hopefully that will be coming soon. All right, I think I covered everything. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I'm Josh. More videos coming as always. Till then, if I don't see you out thrifting or at Walt Disney World, I will see you at the movies. Bye. Or good evening. <laughs> Bye.